Ian Gary claims that he has agreed to fight Colby, and there is a date in place. However, Colby has yet to sign the contract. What's up, everyone? It's Tuesday, the 9th of April at 10 past 1, and I just want to let everyone know I have agreed the fight with Colby Covington. There is a date in place. Colby still hasn't signed the contract. It looks like the UFC is attempting to book Sean Strickland versus Paulo Costa. On X, Paulo said, I was so excited for this match with Sean Strickland. He refused per UFC. It would be a fight for free speech and freedom. Hours later, Sean posted this. He wrote, out of curiosity, what do you guys think I was offered to fight Costa on seven weeks notice? Base contract. A fan replied, 200K show, 200K win, 10K fight week incentive. Sean replied, close but less. Sean also posted this to his Instagram story. He wrote, I never say no, I say how much. Shane Strickland, I'm waiting for you. You told me in PI, we got to shot in the desert. I'm a good shotter. You never come back. Dustin Poirier and Michael Chandler had a back and forth on X. Chandler reposted the back and forth between Raquel Pennington and Kayla Harrison. He wrote the old I'd rather sell hot sauce vibe. Dustin replied, remember when I whipped your ass? Chandler replied once again saying he just can't help himself. Calm down champ, life ain't that serious. Whip my ass, you did not, and you know it. I got caught, it happens in this game, as you well know. Conor McGregor releases new sparring footage. Lee Abdelaziz responded to this new sparring footage. On X, he wrote, I know this guy, his sparring partner, he is a mechanic. Patty Piblet wants a ranked opponent next at UFC Manchester. Patty mentions Hanato Moicano, Rafael Dos Anjos, Drew Dober, and Dan Hooker. Patty, however, thinks that Hanato is going to get knocked out by Jalen Turner. I'm hearing little rumors of July in Manchester, pay per view. I think you might see your boy on there. Hopefully, my carnal, the little mushroom. Hopefully, he beats Jalen Turner, even though I can't see it happening. Jalen Turner's good. I think he's going to knock my carnal out, and then my carnal can come running back to me for some publicity and try and get a fight, and I'll knock him out as well. If he wins or loses, lads, you know what I mean? I want to punch my carnal's head. In. I mean, he's been talking all sorts of sh Literally owed me money, lost me money on a bet about eight years ago. A little fart. If I fight my car, I want to scrap. You know what I mean? Don't start be calling me Paddy Pim and then be scared to throw down your little sausage. Oh yeah, Dober as well. Dober said something about me as well. Mad one. If my car gets his jaw snapped or something, multiple people want one slice, isn't there? You know what I mean? Through Dober, he's another ranked opponent. Be nice to fight him. I rate through Dober. You know what I mean? He's got power in his hands. Couldn't knock me out though. And if my car was out grappling the effort two out of three rounds, imagine what I'd do to you on the floor. Mafravola's always mentioning me. I, I like Mafravola as well, I like his style. He's a baddie fan also. I wouldn't mind fighting for Vola, but I'm sure he's not ranked anymore, is he? We've seen me versus Dos Anjos on one. I've seen me versus Dan Hooker on another. Me versus Bobby Green on another. But it's whoever, you know what I mean? I don't care. I want to fight a ranked opponent next. People keep online. Oh, you haven't fought no one ranked. I don't pick me fights, you know what I mean? I've just fought a former incident champion. I'm climbing the ladders. I want to fight someone ranked next, so. Alexander Volkanovsky believes Max Holloway will defeat Justin Gaethje. On his YouTube channel, Volk said Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. What a fight. Is Gaethje favorite? Not crazy odds. The way some people were talking, I thought maybe they were going to have, you can't have bad odds on Max Holloway. A lot of people are sitting there like, Justin Gaethje, rah, rah, rah. Did we forget Max Holloway's chin? Have we seen him in his last fights? He used to be more hittable back in the day. Now he's got more angles. He uses so many more tools. Man, this is going to be an exciting fight. I just think people are expecting Max to come forward and do how he used to be, and Gaethje just to throw some massive bombs. You're probably going to see Muay Thai Max again. Max is the underdog here, and I think a lot of people are counting him out, and I don't know why. 
We can't forget Max Holloway's chin. It's an undefeated chin. The way people are talking, acting like Max doesn't have a chance, you're wrong. I'm gonna say for my pick, Max Holloway. Sean O'Malley and Tim Welch preview Max Holloway versus Justin Gaethje. Tim doesn't think that Max looks too good in his most recent interview, and Sean says he doesn't understand why Max would even take this fight if his goal is to become champion again at featherweight. I'll get my belt back from Taporia. Max Holloway says, I saw a little video of him having a, his most recent interview. He's kind of coughing, just kind of seemed Max. under the weather. And that was, I think. Well, if he's going to, if he's putting on weight to go up to 55 to fight Justin, it's like, what's the point of putting on muscle just for one fight, just to go back down to 45? I mean, that's the thing, dude. That's not very, I mean, f why accept the fight against Justin if your goal is to get the belt? Get back. You're not getting any incentive to be, the BMF title. You're not making any pay-per-view. You're not making any extra money for the BMF title. Yeah, I wonder if he. I mean, it sucks he doesn't have anyone around him like Dan Garner or these guys. Like, hey, let's let's. Well, he might focus on a little bit of longevity, and your, yeah. your overall health. Probably not be smart to put on five pounds of muscle and then just have to a little. He's a fifty-fiver. Yes. Max is a fifty. He should stay at fifty-five. But I, I mean, if he sees the quickest way to the belt at forty-five, I mean. Illy Max versus Max, Eli, bro, sick. fire fight. Sick. That fight's just as sick as Max Gaethje, if not sick. Like, bro, that is a crazy fight. I'm there for it. Mm -hmm. Alex Bejeda and Glover Teixeira react to Jamal Hill recently FaceTiming with Israel Desanya. Glover does not believe Izzy will be able to help Jamal when it comes to fighting Alex Bejeda. Glover said if you think about the fight, Izzy beat Alex that one night, but how many times is that going to go to his side? I don't see that happening often. He's a great fighter and for sure, if he's in anyone's corner, he's going to help. But it's just help, because of the experience, but it's not going to be anything magical. I always said Alex would be a champion, with anyone helping him. Anyone with skills in martial arts would take Alex to the top. It's the person he is, a champion. Alex reacted in an official interview with the UFC. Alex said, I saw he was doing a video with a diss on you. Honestly, it needed to be on video because if he goes over there to train with a diss on you, a diss on you is gonna kick his break his leg, and he's not gonna be able to fight. So I'm glad they did it over video. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one from Stylebender1989 says Jones needs to be stripped of his heavyweight title. Man is really holding up that division. The second one's from Joe Marshall. It says Chris Weidman, I'm not done yet. There are still fighters out there that can see. And the final one says for Drug Tester, this was the most terrifying moment of his life. For John Jones, it was only Thursday. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.